Hi, it's Sheila again. Um, I'm just going to show you now how to make a cluster earring. Well, a pair of earrings, but I'm not going to show you one. <laughs> um, and it has some gorgeous cathedral beads in which are, they're absolutely beautiful. I really love these. Um, and we've got amethyst and we've got some rose gold. I've got some Botswana agate as well. So I've made lots of pieces and I will send photos of them. So um, just so I'll show you the earring. So what we need is we need a rose gold head pin. We've got the lovely spacer beads that we've got in the kit. And I'm using the amethyst chips at the moment. So, and you'll need, obviously, uh, you will need some jump rings, some uh, rose gold jump rings and your earring finding. So what I've actually done is, there's the head pin and it's got, so there's the head pin and I've put one of the little uh, beads on that you get in your kit with one of the cathedral beads, which I absolutely love. Um, I'm going to put another one of the whoops, little beads on the top of the head pin as well. And then what we do then, so we've got a, a bead at the bottom, we've got the cathedral bead, the bead on the top, and we're going to make a basic loop now on the top of this here. So if we just make a basic loop, 90 degrees, and turn your flat nose, uh, round nose plies over, and then just make a loop. Now I tend to always do a sealed loop if I can, because it helps it stops it falling off so if we just hold them with your flat nose pliers and then just twist it round just so that you've got a secure pop then just snip that off and then you've got your I normally tend to tidy it off at the end and just squash the end section in just so it gives it that finished look okay so there we've got that ready now for the jump ring to actually so we open the jump ring. oh sorry I keep knocking the camera so open the jump ring and then pop that on the section that you've just made with your cathedral bead and your and your little spacer beads. Okay, so you can pop on another one because we're using three here at the moment. So pop on another jump ring. Close that one up, make sure it's closed. You don't want the other one slipping out. And then you can open the third one. But with the third one, I'll open that and I'll leave that section there like so. And this is where we're going to work with the um, nuggets. I'll just move that up the section it's moved. So what we've done then is we've got some head pins. Now these are smaller head pins that I had. They don't slip through the um, through the amethyst, amethyst chips. So those are what I'm working with now. You can use the other um, the thicker head pins if you've got those, the rose gold ones. That's fine. But I think the finer ones are that bit easier to work with, and they look a little bit more delicate too. So I'm now going to do another basic loop there. Another one. And do exactly the same as we did with the other. You see you've got your basic loop there now. Then if you just put your round nose pliers back round and then just work it round. These won't fall off then. And then just again snip it with your pliers. Move those out of the way. So we've now got some little, this is the earring that we're making here. As you can see, it's got these lovely drops on the top. So that's what we need because we're going to attach those onto the jump ring that I've opened. So there's one. I'll do another one again just to show you and then we can assemble it. So. I've put three on of the chips and what I do, I do a slightly big one at the bottom and then two smaller ones. It gives it that pyramid look. So if we just do that again, take it over your round nose pliers, put your round nose pliers back through and then just put them at the top so it secures that. Whoops. And then 
snip that off. And then with these plus they go right to the very end just as long as you don't snip the work that you've oh, there. that's always a worry isn't it <laughs> so there we go so what we'll do then is we'll do we'll put that on again and we need about six to eight it depends how what what sort of size your little sections are so i've already done some so if i put those one two three there's three on there four put another few on the other side Five, and we'll put another one on this side too. So what you're doing, you're actually bunching up that little section there that goes on top of the other section that you've made with the cathedral beads. So we can then attach that. I think we might need another few on there. So I'll pop another couple on because the fuller it is, the prettier it looks. So if we then put that on the top there of that, jump ring there and then if I where's my round nose flat nose pliers gone now I've had those and oh I've got them in my hand <laughs> there we go so I'll now close that up oops that's come off now pop that back on whoops sorry about that there we go close that whoops close that back up I need my other flat nose pliers there so just make sure that that's back in. I'm not very good left-handed actually. There we go. So just pop that, make sure that's closed up because you've got very fine, um, you've got very fine head pins there. So make sure that's closed up. And then there you've got your, there's a round nose plus to show you with that. Now you've got your section there. Look, that's the same as the other one. And then just pop on, open your loop on your, at the end there, and then pop that on your, I'll do my hands with this, it's easier. So just put your on there and then close that back up. And there you have your earring with your lovely amethyst chip drops. If you feel that you need any more on, then you can put some more on, but I think there's about seven on there. So there you've got your earring. And there you've got your pair, and you made the other one. It's okay, so I hope you enjoy making those. They really are lovely. I, w I wear these sort of earrings a lot, so um, good luck with that, and be seeing you soon. Bye-bye now, keep safe. Bye-bye.